27 pounds of lambs between the two of them. You don't look very red anymore. You're more of a rosé. When are you gonna have your baby? This is ridiculous. Mama, that's not your lamb. Don't. Oh. 46 sets of triplets. And the bin we're in is really horrible to get into. Do you ever talk about failing? I don't fail. <laughs> Good morning, it's Monday, and uh, I just made a discovery. Not a great discovery, and not great timing. Our two breeding groups became one. And typically it would be my fault because I would have twine holding a gate up, but I have switched to chain, especially between breeding groups. They broke the chain. I don't know how, but they did. Fingers crossed that most of the breeding was done before they combined but I can't be sure. I don't know how they broke that chain. I had a chain and I also had a clip, so unless they got the clip open, which they could have done, they rub enough. I'm just uh, tagging these lambs from yesterday, the big ones. And indeed they were big, check this out. One was 13 pounds. The other was 14 pounds. 27 pounds of lambs between the two of them. Unassisted, I love her. Chris is just finishing up chores right now and then we're gonna head across the road and weigh, start weighing some market lambs. We only need four for tomorrow being Tuesday. I have four scheduled to um, get processed for a friend of mine. He has a store two or three times a year. He gets an order of like four or so lambs. And then likely when I get back tomorrow, we'll set up again and weigh the entire group. I have a funny feeling we're gonna have a lot over there ready this week. <laughs> That took a couple uh, groups to go through, but we got our four. So I will hook up the trailer in the morning and take those guys. Um, but I wanted to show you guys Red. You haven't seen her in a while. She looks a little different. Hey, honey. Are you itchy? You don't look very red anymore. Hey. Oh, look at you. You're more of a rosé. Huh? Hey baby. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. I really wanted to wait till the last you lambed, but a lot of people are dying to know what this group looked like. And to be quite honest, um, I wanted to know how bad my stillborns were and and all the things. So this group surprisingly did quite well and it does not ever feel like it in the moment. Uh, especially when there's just one thing after another, but I do give a lot of credit for, we worked hard on that. We work hard on all of them, but this one was, it was every day there was something new. I'm, I'm really proud of the results we got off of this. Now these ewes were naturally bred. So these guys were bred back in October. I think the conception on the mature ewes was, was really quite good and the ewe lambs were, were, it was okay. I think it was in the seventies. All right, so 
here are uh, here's what I have so far with one ewe remaining. We have lambed out 294 lambs out of 117 ewes, which gives us a total of 2.51 lambs per ewe born. So after mortality, we actually ended up with 253 lambs, which is 2.16 lambs per ewe, which is my twins, which is kind of the goal. We had two sets of quints, we had 12 sets of quads, we had 14 singles, 46 sets of triplets, and 43 sets of twins. We actually had more triplets than twins uh, this go around, which is crazy. I don't think I've ever had that. I'd have to go look back, but I believe we have 61 bottle babies last at last count out of all these. And what we do with bottle babies, we pull anything, for the most part, we'll leave the odd triplets together if they won't take a bottle, um, because that means mom has enough milk. Quite frequently, those lambs, though, in a couple days, start to go backwards, and then we can put them on the machine. Um, but there are a few triplets, not many, that are still with mom. I was interested to know what my stillborn number was, and it was actually 21 were stillborn, which is only 7%. I thought it would be much higher. Now, in saying that, I separate out my stillborns a little better than I ever used to. So, um, you know, the stuck lambs, they were stillborn, but I figured that they were probably alive, but stuck. So uh, we had two of those. Uh, unknowns, I had four lambs that just, I, I don't know why they died. Uh, weak, there was eight that were weak, which matches exactly what we were seeing when I was battling. Um, two that were underfed, uh, just ones that got missed. Uh, Mom wasn't feeding them. One I had marked that it didn't get enough colostrum, so I, I, I'm not really sure how I knew that, but anyway. Four that I marked down as having Cash Valley, but I'm still not entirely sure that that's what that was without testing. Uh, the vet did call me back. Um, Cinnamon's lamb, she said actually it came out with kidney failure. It came out with all sorts of problems. So that's why it took me so long for that lamb to warm up because it probably shouldn't have made it. She said, that's nothing you've done and that's a unicorn. It probably won't happen again in your life. So let's hope that's true. And then the other, the triplets, they were still working on lab results. She said no news was good news. So I'm hoping that means it's good news, but we'll see. December morning. I mean, April. As expected the weather was garbage the roads were trash and now I have to go to the bathroom because that drive scared the okay as promised we've got uh, we're gonna put all the lambs through today and if they're a hundred and five pounds or over they're gonna go left it's been a, it's been a couple weeks yep. and the rest will go to the right Hopefully we will have one, if not two, loads of lambs to go this week. Hopefully one. I am just nicely sitting down. It's like three o'clock now. Oh, it's 3.30 to finally go over these stats. So let's go over the stats real quick. I had 12, I think two weeks ago, and I knew there was gonna be a lot because we had an, a lot around that high 90s, low 100s. So I knew this week there would be quite a few. Um, so it's looking like I'm probably, gonna do, I'm probably gonna do two loads tomorrow. I'm gonna do some ewes I have ready here that I had ready ages ago. I just 
haven't been able to get them there. And then I'll come back and uh, grab all those lambs. So I think it's going to be a double trip tomorrow. But until then, let's go over these stats. I keep saying I'm going to do it, and I don't do it. Minimum weight was 105 pounds, which you guys already know. Max weight was 123 pounds. Most of these lambs were born from December right into the early, early, early January, I believe. So yeah, 123 for an average of 111.79 pounds. That's crazy. Uh, let's see who the lucky sires were in these. Out of the 42, 28 were Rideau sired, one was Ile de France sired, nine were Dorset sired, um, and four I didn't have a sire on them. <laughs> so I guess I didn't, I didn't write it in or something happened. Oh, she's a tie. Top weight was 103 pounds, 123 pounds by the Rito and 123 pounds by the Dorset sires. So those Dorsets, my friends Romy and Ryan, you should be proud. They've uh, they've done me well here. And just coming down here to uh, <coughs> convince this you to to finally have her baby. It's gonna be twice baked. When are you gonna have your baby? This is ridiculous. Today's the 19th, she's three days overdue. Hey, hey, you, 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 have your baby. Well, I was really hoping they'd all lamb within a couple days. Uh, I have to let these guys out of their lambing pens. It is time. I mean, I don't have to, but I'd, I think they'd probably like to wander a bit. So I'm going to let them out and then hopefully she has her babies t tonight or tomorrow. It's crazy. afraid she wouldn't find her mom but she he he found her <coughs> mama that's not your lamb you no I don't know what to do this is not no 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 not your baby oh, shoot. Here's the thing, I don't mind this whole like sister mom thing going on. I don't mind that they're helping each other out. It's actually quite commendable. The problem is she is full of colostrum. I want the colostrum for the baby. I don't want them to suck the colostrum out of her. I might actually just uh, open up a couple of these pens and just let her in there uh, in her own little spot until she lambs because I don't trust her. Oh, hi. <laughs> Pretty cute. All right, disaster averted. Mom has upgraded her room to a suite. She gets this whole pen to herself. She is loving it. Two in her head. at the end of my rope. I'm at the end of my rope, that's for sure. <laughs> it's just begun. That's the sad part. Tell the fine people what we're doing this morning as a married so far couple. So far? Uh-huh. Well, the day's young, is that what you're saying? Or the morning's early? Mm-hmm. Uh, I have to... We have to clean out the bottom of a bin, and we normally use a sweep auger to do that. Mm-hmm. Because we basically have a vacuum cleaner for grain. Yes. So it sucks it, but then it blows it. It's a sucker blower. It's a sucker blower. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, um, 
So like every second it sucks and then the next second it blows. Mm -hmm. So we have to use pipes, but the longer the pipes are, the less ability it has to move grain. So your it's capacity slow. is super reduced. Mm -hmm. uh, and the bin we're in is, was built in like 1979 and it's really horrible to get into. So it makes it even worse. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is use a sweep auger so that we can move the grain to the center of the bin and then suck it out through the bottom, which will be a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, and we just have to change some plugs around to make it work. I wanted to let Mark know that a viewer on my last video said, oh, Mark is so sweet that oh, yeah. he just, I'm he sweet. just comes and I'm helps candy. you, helps you with no ulterior motives, like just so helpful <laughs> and thoughtful. Man, it's a good thing I'm a good editor. There's a reason I do try to do most of this stuff myself, because my husband well, is I usually in the middle of doing something probably much very, more important. They're very capable and independent people. They're you very, be careful. they can accomplish a you lot. You be careful. Choose I your believe words. In, I, I believe Choose in self-discovery. <laughs> I think everyone needs to discover their skill set. I've been able to failing, eliminate a lot. Failing is just a learning experience. Shush your mouth. Do you ever talk about failing? I don't fail. <laughs> I guess opposites attract. Okay, just plug it in quick and then pull it out. Okay. Hang on a second. I'll maybe get you to. Oh, plug it in and do it on the panel. So it's that one there. Yeah, because so we... this is a bit to get in and out quick. So when I tell you to. Which one, that, sorry? This? No, the gray one. The gray one. This one. Oh, this one. Keep it on. Keep it on. Keep it on. Wow, electrician. In the house. No enough to be dangerous. Good job, Lucy. You want to go in the bed to do it? It might be easier.
Come on, you ding dongs. Mark got my morning today, and I don't even think I gave you guys a proper good morning, so I will say good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, which is, for me, ship day, and I have two loads. So, load number one are my lambs, and I was able to get them on. It took me a little bit more convincing than I'm used to, but with a bigger group, that tends to happen. They they turn around on, on themselves, because you can't be at both ends at once, so a little more chaotic than it usually is. I am going to head to Brussels now with this load turn and burn, come back, pick up those ewes. Uh, I actually have to sort them out first because there's a few that are not going on the truck because I have plans for them. 